Before providing tracheostomy care, ensure privacy, perform hand hygiene, gather your supplies and introduce yourself to the patient. Good morning. My name's Erin. I'll be the nurse taking care of you today. Then identify her using two identifiers. Can you go ahead and tell me your full name and date of birth? Carolyn Lance, 3672. Begin your care by clipping a pulse oximeter to the patient's index finger. Either hand is fine. If oxygen delivery is needed, be sure that the sources and humidification are in place and have been set to the correct levels. Arrange your equipment on the overbed table. Open the package for the tracheostomy tube holder according to the manufacturer's instructions. If your patient has a disposable inner cannula, open that package now. Then open a tracheostomy care kit, which contains 4x4 gauze, cotton-tipped applicators, dressing, cleansing brush, drape, and a suction catheter. Pour half an inch to an inch of normal saline solution into the sterile basin. Don't recap the bottle of saline. Just kind of turn your oxygen up. Now hyperoxygenate the patient by adjusting the ventilator settings or by increasing the oxygen rate. Apply sterile gloves for suctioning. Remember, you'll need to keep your dominant hand sterile throughout the suctioning procedure. A patient with a tracheostomy sometimes has excessive peristomal secretions. To look for such secretions, apply clean gloves and a face shield if needed. Examine the tracheostomy site for soiled or damp dressings. Then suction the tracheostomy carefully to remove mucus. Before you take off your gloves, remove the soiled tracheostomy dressing and coil the suction catheter in your palm. Discard them inside your glove. I'm going to go ahead and take out your inner cannula. To care for a patient whose tracheostomy has a disposable inner cannula, withdraw the used inner cannula, touching it only on the outside. Quickly inspect the cannula for secretions and dispose of it. Then place the new inner cannula and lock it into position. Okay, I'm going to put a clean one in. If necessary, reconnect the patient to the ventilator or other oxygen source. I'm going to clean out your inner cannula. If the patient's tracheostomy has a non-disposable inner cannula, use your non-dominant hand to unlock and remove it. Use strict aseptic technique. Touch only the outside of the cannula and drop it into the basin of normal saline. If necessary, replace the oxygen source over the outer cannula. Pick up the inner cannula and use the sterile brush to remove secretions from it, both inside and outside. Then rinse it with normal saline. Replace the inner cannula and re-engage the locking mechanism. If necessary, reattach the oxygen source and hyperoxygenate the patient. Note that tracheostomies may lock in different ways. Some must be squeezed to release and reattach. While others are secured by twisting into position. I'm going to clean around the tracheostomy site and change the dressing. With either type of cannula, remove the drainage sponge and use normal saline to clean the exposed surface of the outer cannula.
Then clean the stoma. Begin at the inner edge and move outward in circles, covering a two to four inch margin around the stoma. Be sure to include the area under the faceplate. Pat dry the skin and exposed outer surfaces of the cannula. Apply a new drainage sponge. Are you okay? To secure the tracheostomy using the tube holder method, you may want an assistant to hold the tracheostomy tube as you work. If an assistant is not available, leave the old tracheostomy tube holder in place until the new device is secure. Align the strap under the patient's neck. The Velcro attachments should be positioned on either side of the tracheostomy tube. Then place the narrow end of each tie under and through the eyelets on the faceplate and secure the Velcro closures. Does that feel okay? Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna check your tracheostomy ties. Verify that the neck strap has only enough slack for two fingers to fit snugly beneath it or for one to fit loosely. Does that feel okay? Are you comfortable? When right. you've finished providing tracheostomy care, position the patient comfortably. Remove and discard your gloves and face shield if used. There we go. Replace the cap on the bottle of saline. Date the container and store it and any other reusable liquid. Finally, perform hand hygiene and document your care.